Okay, today we're going to talk about connecting Q floors up to your Measure Square cloud. The reason you would want to do this is because in Measure Square, their new iPads or Androids, I believe they're coming out with that, and their newest versions of the desktop of Measure Square commercial, they all connect to their cloud, and that's how they're sharing information back, back and forth between all of their different devices. Well, that also provides Qfloors the ability to see their cloud and also share that information that they're putting there. So that's why we want to do it. The way we do it, or the things that you're going to need, you're going to need to go to your cloud.measuresquare.com website and click on this Manager Measure Square ID. If your password's already been put in there, it will bring up your Measure Square Cloud just automatically like it did for me. You should be able to see your name over here in the top left hand corner. From here, there are two pieces of information that we need. If I click on API members, I can see my Measure Square ID. That's the first piece. The second piece is my API settings, where it says API key right here. That's what I need the key and your M2 M square uh, ID, those two things. Once I have those pieces of information, I can come over to my QFloor software, hit my setup, and go down to Estimator. Okay. You'll now see this new setup window that we have with the M2 Cloud interface. M2 ID, that's where I put chat at QPro software, and the API key, I add that in here. Once I do that, I, that's all I have to do to set it up. I push OK. And now I can bring in some information from the cloud. If I hit New right here, and create a new uh, invoice. I can call this my S, uh, estimator demo, like that, and just save it. So be saved as a proposal. And now my esti and by the way, it has to be saved first, and then you hit your estimator button right here. And now this gives me a list of all of the projects that are out on the Measure Square Cloud, and when they were last updated, it it does them in that order, in the order when they were put out there. If I just select one of these, I double click, it says do I want to update customer information? If I do, um, you can see the estimate that's out there doesn't have any. It will override it. I'm going to put no, I'm just going to keep my estimator demo information here. And then it will take it a second, and if you have a fast computer it goes pretty quickly. And you can see that all of this information just came in for my estimator demo and if you had prices on there that would even come up let's see if we can grab another one that maybe has some prices I don't know who knows let's see if this one has anything going here and and actually you can see if you already have information there it'll ask you if you want to overwrite the information so I'm just gonna overwrite everything here you can see this one has prices in it. Oh, there we go. So this one's thirty-four thousand here. You can see that it has different prices and different stuff in here in Q floors, seventy-three dollars. So you can see this one has a little bit more stuff going on. So you see how it's just really simple to bring something in and and do that. And then if I hit the save button, lo and behold, that estimate's right in Q floors. Uh, it's that simple to do, right? If I come back over to the setup menu now and go down to estimator, uh, you probably saw these other two settings down here at the bottom. These are to keep QFloors compatible with old methods of bringing in measure square imports. Um, these will eventually be phased out um, as we go along here. Everything will start coming through the cloud. But if you want to continue to do it the older ways, um, for the next little while, for example, this desktop in the latest versions of of uh, Measure Square, they don't support this desktop interface anymore. So we're pushing everything up to this cloud here. But if you want to do either of these two, we have another video that's out on the web that you can look at to do that. And that's all there is. Thank you very much.